In this tutorial, we discuss triggering AWS Lambda function by the data being sent from IoT. So for doing this, you should already have your Lambda function set up, which we did in the previous tutorial. You should also have your publisher code, uh, which is also verified before. Now we just have to set up the trigger here. So there are two ways of doing it. So let's look at the first case. So first case, you can do it from the IoT core itself. So from your AWS console, uh, you can go to IoT Core. The steps are exactly the same as the steps which we use for DynamoDB. So you have to go to Actions and create a role. So this I am saying, assuming we already have our policy as well as the certificate setup which we did in the previous tutorial. Okay, And we already have the rules for our DynamoDB and SNS which we used before. So if you wish, you can disable them. I have kept them disabled so that same message, it doesn't go to other services also. So I'm creating a new rule here this time. And let's call this rule as my Lambda rule. And the query, same as before, select enter message followed by the topic we are sending the message using temperature topic so you put temperature topic there and here action and our action is this one send a message to lambda function and say configure action and at this point he will ask you the name of the lambda function to which this message should be sent so if you already have the function set up here that will be automatically listed here if that is not the case you can create a new function from here also it will automatically log into a lambda console and as we have seen in the previous tutorial you can write your own function at this point also since we already have the function let's choose it and choose add action and say create rule so the rule is created uh, now interesting thing is if you come back to your uh, lambda console and if you just refresh you will see the AWS IoT, it is automatically added as a trigger to your function. Okay, so that happens automatically and uh, you need to make sure uh, it comes like that so that it is configured properly. And now we can just go ahead and test. Uh, so remember from previous tutorial, uh, we have said like this guy is going to convert the temperature into Fahrenheit and it will be printed and that print will be coming in CloudWatch, so let's make sure currently there are no prints in the CloudWatch. So go to CloudWatch, yeah, you can see the log stream here. If it is not coming, you can take log stream from here, logs and log groups. There you will see AWS Lambda my function group. Inside that, the logs will be coming. As of now, there is nothing. I have deleted all of them. Now let me run this publisher code so that he sends the temperature data every five seconds. So he successfully connected. Now he'll be sending a temperature data every five seconds. So now you can see it is being sent. Now if I come back to my CloudWatch and if I just refresh it, you can see a new log is created and if you open the log, uh, you can see a water print is coming here. So this time you can see uh, it is not always the same data because the temperature being sent, they are different. So the Fahrenheit that you see here, they'll be also different. Okay, so it will be again automatically updated every three seconds. So you can see the updates here and it keeps on uh, changing. Okay. So as I mentioned before, uh, there is a free limit. So if you keep on sending like this, uh, you will exhaust your free limit. So keep that in mind. Okay, so that's done. So let me kill it. Another way of setting up this trigger is from Lambda itself. Okay, so if you go to Lambda, uh, let's go to my function itself. Let me remove this one. So this will have to do from IoT. So let me go back to IoT and let me delete this rule and if I refresh, the trigger is gone. So instead of uh, setting up the trigger from here, you can set it from here also, same step. So you just go and choose add trigger 
and he will ask you the source of trigger and here you can see AWS IoT is listed. So this is what I mentioned yesterday. Uh, Lambda it can be triggered by a lot of other AWS services also and it can be triggered by other partners from Amazon also if you want. Okay. So from here also you can choose AWS IoT and choose custom IoT rule, IoT button that's a special device from Amazon and here you can create a new rule and same step you give the rule name my rule and same query select star from temperature topic enable trigger and you can say add so that will also do the same thing that we have seen okay so this is how you uh, add a trigger to lambda from iot next tutorial we will see how we can set up a destination to lambda function so that he can send the process data to that particular destination see